What up, y'all? Two boys, everyone. I seven two back here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. But now, when we last left off, Kefka took out the Warring Triad, absorbed all the magic, and became the god of the world. Basically, destroyed the world. Not only that, the whole, not only the whole world is destroyed, but Celis has woken up a year later since that destruction. We are here on Solitaire Island right now. After being rescued by Professor Zid. So. Let's see. Not long for this new cruel world. Now what you need to do right here. Is you need to feed him some fresh fish. You gotta go catch him. Oh, not here. Hang on. Let's see. You need to be able to try to catch some fish. Now if you feed him delicious fish. He'll survive. But if you keep feeding him really bad fish. He will eventually uh, die, so do what you can to try to rescue, as, get as many fish as you can, because if you can get them to live, then whew, there's some happiness to this. Okay, what? Oh, yum. My worst nightmares, I think, of you alone here in this wretched island. <coughs> okay, well, he's not okay just yet, though. We just got to keep feeding him delicious fish. Now, this will take a little bit, so I'm going to try to uh, cut and edit this as much as I can. So, let's keep our quote-unquote granddad nice and healthy. Come on. Eat up. <gasps> okay, well, that was, that was a bit of a scare. We don't want the professor to die. Come on. Let's see. What do we got here? Catch as many fish as we can. Come on, come on, come on. So close. <sighs> hopefully this fish is hopefully all this fish is delicious. You have to eat or else. What's the matter? Sid. Oh no. Wow. Let's talk about let me talk about a way of dying to start of this episode. Yeah. What a way to wake up, you know, a year after the world's destroyed, then you know the only person that's around you actually passes away from starvation. Those who were here. When they were feeling down, they take a leap of faith from the cliffs north and perked them right up. I gotta admit, though, even for a Super Nintendo game, though, this this scene, you know, as sad and destitute as it was, what was really crazy was the fact that this this dealt with suicide, too. You know, there's nothing worse in this life than despair. There really isn't. Poor Celis right here goes to kill herself. Sad to say, though, but in a world that's desolate, though, what can you do? It's hard to stay positive in a place like this. You can definitely tell she didn't want to do it. There she is, back at the beach. Hmm, what's this? She's alive. Why did you nurse me back to health? Did I ever ask you to help me? <gasps> Would you look at that? A bandana. What do you know? There is some hope. Locke is still alive, apparently. So, what do we do now? 
You need to leave. The others are surely waiting for you. Find the stairs next to the stove. Down them lies your road to freedom. Love, Granddad. That's really sad. It really is. What'd you know? A raft. You gotta wonder if Celis herself actually ate. Because a raft like that, though, could just go anywhere. I'll make you proud of me, Granddad. After feeding him tons of delicious fish, he's feeling much better. What's up? The project that kept me going over the past year is now down below. Now the cool part about this is, when you rescue him, he still gives you the raft. Ironically taking him a full year, but the cool part is, you must leave this place and have to find your friends. I'll bring them all back to meet you. That lot fellow, though, no doubt. So, we're gonna change the negativity to the positivity. Funny thing is, Sid never leaves Solitary Island. That is a little weird, though, but I gotta admit, it's almost, uh. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's almost poetically awesome, if you ask me. I don't know how to explain it, though, but I think it's really cool. Alrighty, we are now on this uh, mainland right here, another part of the continent. Very, very large part. What do we got here? Say hello to Albrook. Did you see that tower? Kefka's up there. He's using the power of the statues. He's like a god. Back to Albrook. We are. I know that. Very war torn. Still. What do we got? What could we purchase in a world like this? Yeah. Let's go searching around. Go talk to the people. On that day, debris from all over the world floated eerily to the center of this landmass and formed that tower. Oh yeah, there's a lot that has changed. You, with the sparkle in your eye. You're the spitting image of a man who came here recently. Anyone who opposes Kefka gets his or her own town fried by the light of judgment. Everything changed on that day. When the world was ripped apart, many long sealed monsters were released Funbaba, Doomgaze, and the eight legendary dragons. You'll hear this music a lot, though, because... Oh! The Serpent Trench used to be deep underwater. Now it's above sea level. Some cult of Kefka members have built a tower there. Remember that... Oh! What's this? What's going on here? Hey, it's Sabin! Hey, Celis! Let's head in! Wait. If I move, the whole house will collapse. First, save the child that's in there. I can't hold this up forever, so... Get on the, uh... Hmm. Okay, six minutes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there are going to be some battles here, so let's not waste any time. Okay. Let's see if our magic that we've uh, carried along with us actually helps us. Oh yeah, a lot of the enemies of the uh, World of Ruin now hold a lot of uh, interesting status effects now. Can't run, I don't think. Can we run? Okay, we're good. We'll deal with that later. Let's heal up real quick. Let's go save this little girl. Heal rod. Nice. 
Try to pick up as many spoils as you can, too. Some of these items are just irreplaceable. You don't have to worry about waiting to run, too, so... Alright. Texture. Oh, a monster in a box. Okay, I don't think we can run from this now. So, let's just fight our way out. Alrighty. There we go. Get a lot of gold for a place that's really desolate. The hermit crabs have something called stone. Where it literally turns you into a stone after they kill you. Yeah, a lot of these enemies here are very, very, very petty. Okay. Drainer. Oh, yeah. Another good item. Oh, wonderful. Another... Alrighty. Alright, you're safe now. Get this child out of here. Another piece of magicite. Alright, let's keep running your ass off. I don't know what it is about Final Fantasy VI, or why these enemies have so many different status effects where they can just kill you automatically. Okay, we're good. You're alive. <laughs> But of course, you think a minor thing like the end of the world was going to take me in? Oh yeah. That everyone was gone, I'd given up all hope. But fortunately I was wrong. Now I know they're all alive. I need to find everyone and then... Yes indeed, I know, I know. We smash Kafka and deliver peace unto the world. It's a hell of a way to introduce the fucking rule the world the world of ruin, right? Oh, poor kid. Many monsters nowadays attack with zombie, petrify, and the like. Have you equipped suitable relics? Oh, check this out. Got a use of gossip? No, but you were supposed to have another Esper for me. Apparently not. My nerve. Burns whole towns. Mobilis to the east. Most of the adults there perish trying to save their children. Well, shall we go check it out? 